What up guys, I know this video is really badly lit, but in this video I'll be reviewing the Mount Dog ring light and I'm going to show you how you take something looking really amateur and shot on a Nikon camera D5200 on this really standard lens and how you make it into something like and, and as you can see with a 17 millimeter the ring is nowhere to be seen and before and after you can color grade this it'll probably look amazing shooting on a Nikon camera this is a Nikon camera and look at this so the folks over at Mount Dog decided to uh, contact me and sent me their Diva ring light, which is the competitor to the newer ring light. If you haven't seen that video, link is in the card or in the description below. Check that out. And I'm going to give you my honest opinions of this ring light and whether or not it's competitor, is it worth it, and should you purchase this Mount Dog ring light or should you purchase the Diva ring light, the newer ring light. So it comes in a really big box and it comes in two compartments first you have this nice little like leathery faux leather case which obviously has the ring light and the tripod itself so let's break open this tripod and yes i did open it first so i know what i'm doing and i don't like a complete idiot but first thing that i noticed about this tripod is that it's really a lot lighter because i would th think that they would use the same one that the folks over at newer do but First impressions, really light. And let's see how this works. So I guess you fold it down like this. Does it have clamps? So interesting, my initial impressions is like, interesting setup with their tripod. It's a, they don't have twisty knobs or locks. So what it is, is there's three modes. You can put it all the way flat or at an angle and then you just pull this little thing out and put it where you want it to go. I don't know how sturdy this will stay afterwards. Next is the more important part is the actual ring light itself. First impressions of this guy, it is a lot smaller than the newer ring light and compared to the newer ring light, this part is usually removable and there's orange panels that the guys that newer give you, but this is not. The cool thing about this guy is that, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a dimmer here and you can change the white balance or the color temp to really blue or really warm. And I'll show you that a little later. And the cool thing about this is that it comes with different accessories, similar to the, the ring light. You have your phone bracket. You do have your uh, AC outlet. And the cool thing about this guy is that compared to the newer ring light is that there's no little power transmitter box. This goes straight into the back of the Diva ring light. So that's really cool. So you don't have to worry about like being at blocky or carrying out around like AC outlet power blocks. And it also comes with a phone adapter, but I'm not gonna test that. If you guys want me to test this on this ring light or the new ring light, let me know in the comments. But I'm just gonna put this guy, set this up, so stay tuned. So I would assume it has, since a lot of these ring light companies come from the same place, there is a little difference from this guy. This, They have little knobs here, give me a second. Yes, yeah, so you can ex extend the length. These do feel a little bit more firm. And I'm gonna assume it's the same way that you attach it on. So tripod goes into here and this locks it. This mechanism across all boards is a little flimsy. I don't know how long this was wear and tear, but who knows. Next, what I'm gonna do is put in the AC power. So pretty standard, there's two holes here, there's two prongs here, you press this guy, press it in. Cable length itself, I would say it's around, uh, let's see, like six feet, six to seven feet. 
And I'm gonna plug this guy right in right now. And as you can see here, on off. And I'm gonna turn off my backlight. And this is the dimmer. So this is the lowest it goes. And this, this is the brightest. And here's the color temp. You can see that really warm to really blue to ace white. So let's put this to use and I'm going to put my tripod looking through this guy and see how this looks on my Nikon camera. And holy crap, that is really bright, but this is on the brightest setting, the lowest setting, but I have my ISO set at 100. So if I just crank this all the way down to ISO 125, Yes, you do have the ring light in my glasses. I'm going to take my glasses off in a second. But here's the ring light before and I have my ISO set at, I can even set my ISO all the way to ISO 100. So when people are like, hey, you have a Nikon 5200 on a kit lens. I'm currently using the Sigma 2.8. Review is in the, the description below. But look at this quality for an entry level DSLR. This is what it looks like. I have my um, tripod or the, the ring light tripod and then I have my tripod on top of the camera looking through this, if that makes sense. Here, I'll show you guys. So, Here's the tripod that I have with, that came with it. I'm shooting through my other tripod because I don't trust my Nikon. It's really heavy to put this on this tripod. And overall, it's, it's more safe in my opinion, even though yes, you're using two tripods. So I have a tripod shooting through the ring light. So there's two tripods and this is what it looks like little warmth coming off of this LED lights. But I think from what you guys saw before and now, and if you want a budget friendly like option, I would definitely recommend this guy. If I had to personally pick, I am a little biased because I am a fan of newer, but when it comes to ring lights, I think this quality is a lot more and it's a lot affordable and budget friendly. Link is, is in the description and for full disclosure, the guys at Mount Dog did send this to me, but I'm not endorsed and this is my honest opinion. And I think this is a easy, easy win if you're on a budget video editor, YouTuber, and you want to use this light. Like, I can't really complain with this. Like, I know that some people don't like the ring light in the eyes, that kind of look, but honestly, in my current setting and my available light sources, I would take this little, you might call it a cheesy halo effect in the eyes and be able to shoot my Nikon at 100 ISO in a room that's isolated and not a lot of decent light sources available. I would take this over a clamp light. If, if you're on a budget, take the clamp light, but if you have money to invest, especially in this Mount Dog, which retails for, I think, 60 American, link in the description to get the exact prices. I think this is like bang for its buck. So you can get your honest, this is my honest review on it. And I just wanna repeat that. And the thing about this guy is that since it is much smaller, I don't have to worry about shooting through the lens or any of the lens appearing. Cause right now that is the innermost ring. And, and as you can see with a 17 millimeter, the ring is nowhere to be seen. And before and after you can color grade this. It'll probably look amazing shooting on a Nikon camera. This is a Nikon camera and look at this. Not bad, eh? And of course you can use your phone now. And if, if you're like, hey, I don't have money for a DSLR, hell, even use the phone attachment that this comes with, put your phone on it and I guarantee the quality would all be much more higher because you have better lighting and you're not forcing your camera to bump up the ISO. And that is one of the reasons why you get grainy or bad quality videos. But yeah, that was my overall real unboxing and first impressions of this Mount Dog ring light. And I think this, is the competitor of newer and I think I would purchase this over 
my newer ring light. If you don't know who I am yet and you watched all the way this far into the video, my name is Peter. I'm a full-time video editor and I try to help people with using their camera as well as creating like something out of nothing. And for me, my expertise is video and I'm trying to share that to you guys and help someone out there where I wish I knew that I had help when I first started. You're watching Broke Vision and Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers. And one more plug <laughs> is that link in the description if you're a complete beginner and you don't know where the hell to start with camera gear or videos or like how do I even start? I have a complete free guide. Link is in the description. Sign up for the guide. No strings attached. I will send you a free guide on all the equipment that you need to get started. Whether you want to be a videographer, a video editor, or just a YouTuber. Cheers.